hello 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 thank you for visiting my channel today my name is esther and here on my channel i share gist and tutorials on food fashion and craft lifestyle and relationship in my video today i'll be showing you how to make chiffon and ankara kimono so if you are yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos yes guys so without further without further ado let's get started so i folded my fabric into four so i can cut the front and the back at the same time so i folded them into four and you can see I folded here and folded here so so this would be this road line would be my starting point i'm going to start my measurement with the verticals first so i'll start with my shoulder line mark my shoulder line i like to mark my point on two sides when working with chiffon you need to be very careful so my shoulder line is one inch down from my start my hammer point is 18 18 divided by 2 is 9 so i'm going to mark that point also, you can get your armor points by taking it two inches upwards from your boss point. My boss point is 11, so 11 minus 3 is 9. I use either of those methods. So 9, my boss point is 11, I'm going to mark that. My waist is 16. And my waist, my hip line, sorry, is 25. The full, my knee length, I don't need that measurement, it's not a gun to, but my full gown length is 58 plus 2 inches, plus 2 inches for, for I've marked my hip line here, my full gown length is 58 plus 2 inches for the waist. For the M line, so I have to turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing. I've marked my M line, I've marked my hip line, I've marked my waistline, my bust point, my arm O line, and my M line. So the same thing I've marked on this side, I've marked towards the edge here. I'll mark my neck points, my shoulder line, sorry, my shoulder back to back now is 15, 15 divided by 2, 7 and a half, 7 and a half plus half inch to an allowance, I'll mark 8 inches, mark the same 8 inches here, and mark the same 8 inches on my arm point, arm line, then for my bust, my bust is 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10, so I'll mark 10 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. This is my waist. My waist is 32. Rather, my waist is 33, which is 8 1 quarter. 33 divided by 4 is 8 1 quarter. So I'll take it from quarter plus one inch. I don't need that since I'm not taking that. So I'll just add my one inch sewing allowance. My hips is the same as my boss, which is 40, 10, and 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 10 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. So the same measurement I've taken on my hips, I'll also take on my M line. Connect my, my start point to my arm line. So I have that. I'm also going to take my bust measurement on my arm over line here. So I have 11 here. I'll take 11 here also. So 
so i just thought of it now i'm going to add half inch allowance for extra ease allowance because i don't really want it to be fitted so i'm adding half inch here and adding half inch here i'm also adding half inch on my waist and my hips So I'm going to take my neck measurement at my back measurement divided by that's three and a half. Seven divided by three and a half. So on the back, I'm going to come down by about one inch. And then curve it like this. For the so for the back, I came down by one inch. For the front, I came down by three inches. So I'm going to connect the shoulder line to the neckline now. And then the point between the shoulder point and my ammo line, divided by two. And then from that place, go inwards by one half inch rather to carve out my ammo. As you can see me doing here. So for the front, We'll be doing a v-shape by connecting the neck point to the waist point as you have seen me do here so for the opening of the kimono we need that v-shape and then we'll connect from that point downwards and then that will be it so i'm just going to cut out a pattern so far i'll start with the back first so cut out everything that relates to the back So when I finish cutting that, I'm going to take it out and adjust for the front. So here I've already taken out the back and I'm just adjusting my material so that I can finish working on the front parts of the fabric. Yeah, so chiffon is really very slippery, you need to take your time. So I'm just redrawing that so you can see very well. So for the front arm hole, I'm going to go in by half inch more. So I'm going in half inch more than I did on the back. I'm cutting that out now. And then cutting out the V-shape for the center. And then slash the rest open. So that's it. We have our front and back patterns ready. And now we're ready to sew. So to stitch materials like this, I like to sew on the outside first, connect them straight down like that. So I'm starting with the shoulders, connect straight down. So I'm going to show you how I sew because sometimes, and really I don't really have a weaving machine accessible around me. So I like to sew like this. Sew on the outside first as I've done here. Then reduce the extra that you have as I've done here. So, and then you now fold in on the inside so you are sewing on the outside first which is what i've done here now take that extra out and then fold on the inside here so at the end of the day your inside will look very enclosed and there'll be no need for stitching so sew like this again So inside and outside looks almost the same. You can see this is the outside. This is the outside. And this is the inside. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. There's no need for stitching. As I've already taken care of that part. So we'll do the same for the other side also. So on the outside first. Then fold in. And so on the inside that's why you need to take out whatever extra you have so that you don't have the extra showing when you sew it on the outside on the inside rather so stitch again and then you have your enclosed stitches no need for weaving so this is the inside and you can see what it looks like on the outside so this is the method we're using to sew this kimono and we'll just do the same thing on the sides connect the sides together sew on the outside down first sew about quarter of an inch 
So if you have extra, reduce and get as close to the seam line as possible. But be careful not to cut into the seam line. So that is what I've done here. I reduced the, stitchy, the extra allowance as you can see. So this will ensure that by the time I sew on the inside, this does not show on the outside. So I'm taking it to the other side now. And now sewing on the inner on the internal part of the of the outfit stitch straight down following the pattern that you have carved out and be very careful chiffon is not really easy to work with i know but you'll be fine <laughs> just like i was so just work with it So this is the inside of our outfit. It looks enclosed. So we don't need to have any weaving done. So if you're just like me and you don't have access to good weaving machine resources, just do this method and you'll be fine. So for the sleeves, I've measured the sleeve height, which is what I have here. So I want the sleeve length to be up to my shoulder. Sorry, elbow, I meant my elbow. So that's three quarter sleeve. And then I've measured my sleeve height, my cap height. For me, so for me, that is 3.5. Now I'm going to connect. From the top of my cap height to the width of, um, of my arm plus extra one inch allowance I have added and then I'm going to measure half of that point which is what I've done here to draw out my arm wool. So because it's going to be a straight sleeve I just connected from that part to the edge of the sleeve. So note that I folded into four so I have my two sleeves already. And now for the edge of the sleeves, I've measured out this fabric, which is about three inches to the length, to the width of the sleeve that we're working with. So we're going to join those together and that will be it. So to join that together, this is unfold three inches by the width of my sleeve length. And it is unfold. I've cut it unfold. So I'm going to connect the open side of that to the sleeve and then stitch together. Stitch down like that. For our kimono, I've measured this three and a half inch. You can reduce this if you want, three and a half inch width by the length of my kimono opening. That is, and I have two of these. So I connected from the center point of my kimono, that is the neck down to the length of my kimono so i have that divided by two and i'm going to join at the center like this so i have two pieces of this each part is from the center of my neck down to the length of my kimono so i've joined the sleeve together i attached the ankara to the chiffon and also stitched together the sleeve and for this i have stitched at the center as you can see, I've stitched at the center. I'm going to press that open so that I can lay it over the other part. So, just like I said before, each side is from the center part of my neckline down through the center to the length of my kimono jacket. So we're going to attach this to the kimono jacket by folding the neck into two and then notching the midpoint. Just nip off the midpoint a bit. And that is where the stitch part of 
the Ankara will lay over. So lay that on top of that and connect or secure with the pin so that it's easy to work with. So you can pin down everything before going to sew, but I'm just going to connect only that part and I'll transfer to my sewing machine to sew. So stitch from the neck point across the center of your jacket opening down to the end of your jacket, which is the M line. Do the same thing on the other side. So you can pin down first before transferring to the machine to sew. And I've already done that here. I stitched and then when I finished sewing, I top stitched on the outside. So I first stitched on the chiffon and then I top stitched on the outside. So for the M line now, I'm going to fold in the M line and sew from side to side. So, for, so from one opening to the other opening and then we attach the sleeves. So attach the sleeves on the two sides which is what I've done here. And with that our kimono is ready. If you want you can add extra belts. But I'm not adding extra belts and you can see. It looks very neat on the outside and on the inside. So, it's really very easy to make and you, it doesn't take so much time to make. So, next thing I'll just be doing is to iron so that I can press down all the stitches and my seam lines and with that I'm ready. So you see how it looks it looks very good just like i said you can have belt if you want i didn't want the belt and i took it off you can also style with headband turban or anything you want i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you're yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up so we can reach more people leave your questions down below and i'll make sure to respond for now it's bye from me and do take care